What is going on guys? Matthew V. Haynes here, aka The Clockmaster. Right now, I'm just gonna make a quick video with the anticipation of the Spider-Man Homecoming trailer number two that is supposed to drop tomorrow or later today, depending on what time you're watching this video. So before I get into why I think Tom Holland is the perfect choice for Spider-Man, I wanna explain a little bit who Spider-Man is. Now, before I even get into that, I wanna make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, like if you are new, and leave your comments down below. Great. Now let's get into some of my points. So if you guys aren't familiar with Spider-Man and who he is in the comic book, Spider-Man is really this teenager, this young kid, this spunky, fiery, joke spitting kid who's just always there and just you know he's a standout he's not someone who's necessarily blending in with the crowd and spider-man is one of my biggest like oh, my first ever experience with comic books i my very first comic book was a spider-man comic book that my grandfather had it was one of the older the amazing spider-man comic books and i enjoyed that book to death i loved it so much and that's kind of what got me hooked into comics and the spider-man from that story was that, like I said in the beginning, was this spunky, fun, energetic, you know, sarcastic kid that we all love. So I want to go over each Spider-Man and kind of dissect them down a little bit really quickly just to show in comparison as to why Tom Holland's the best. So we will start with the very first leeway on screen Spider-Man, and that is Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. So Tobey Maguire Spider-Man was the very first character, the very first person to actually really bring what, you know, set the standard for modern day superhero films. And, you know, all respect must go to Tobey Maguire as an actor for playing Spider-Man in the little roles that he had in Spider-Man 1, 2, and 3, Spider-Man 2 being one of the better movies out of the, all of the three of them. But my issues with Tobey Maguire Spider-Man is that he wasn't he didn't really give me he had the yes he had the nerd factor down he had the standout factor down he had all of that stuff that relates to spider-man but he was he, he didn't really feel like the comic books in a way as far as you know how he acted to certain ways he was more just less too awkward and more a adult really he was more of an, a, a grown-up spider-man a man man spider-man he wasn't really the teenage spider-man that i grew up reading and watching on television you know the animated series he wasn't that type of spider-man so th those things alone really kind of turned me off about it but at the time when it first came out i had zero issues with it because i was a kid when the first spider-man movie came out when the second one and the third came out i was a huge fan of that so i said okay you know what this guy is spider-man that's what i was saying at that time so then we fast forward a couple more years and here we have andrew garfield as spider-man now, I can go and list a whole bunch of issues as to why I don't think Andrew Garfield was a great Spider-Man, but I'm just going to list a few. One of the main reasons to why I think that uh, Andrew Garfield wasn't the perfect choice for Spider-Man is that he was a little bit too cool for school in a way he was a little bit too if you want to use that word a little bit too cool for school he was this he didn't give me the nerd standout sarcastic factor he was he was just really he was just a little weird you know and, and and then again he didn't you know he was this kind of like this guy he didn't look like a nerd he didn't look like someone who stood out from the crowd he looked like somebody that, you know, that average guy that everyone likes, the photographer type. He didn't look like a Spider-Man to me, like too cool, look at the model type Spider-Man. It wasn't really the kind of Spider-Man that I wanted. You know, a lot of the jokes that they had for that character, and a lot of it has to do with screenplay and dialogue, really fell flat, especially in these Amazing Spider-Man 2, the second movie, he was way too cool for school. Definitely wasn't that nerd. I did not get that nerd factor at all. I didn't get that awkward, you know, character that i knew from the comic books again like i'm saying and i can go on and on about andrew garfield and you know the eye moving you know i can go on and on about it, but i would not do that because this like and i said i forgot to disclaim this but like i said it is a 100 opinion everything i see here is 100 my opinion okay my opinion so finally, here is why I think Tom Holland is the perfect choice for Spider-Man. We first saw Tom Holland Spider-Man in Captain America Civil War, and but from the time he enters the screen, I was like, yes, 
this is spider-man we have the you know the teenage young adult spider-man that we need first of all the age is right that's one thing too you can definitely tell he's so awkward and so nerdy just by the way he's talking to tony stark certain things he's a standout he's not used to certain things you know this perky kid that's just like he's so innocent and naive he's like oh my god this is spider-man and then one of the most standout parts from especially captain america civil war was when he was fighting everyone he's just throwing those jabs and throwing those jokes well keep in mind both the amazing andrew garfield spider-man and toby mcguire spider-man had that it wasn't at the level that tom holland was able to execute it at so all the fight scenes and everything with all the jabs and the jokes and the little this and a little slander here and there was perfect. It was really, really perfect. And what I loved about the first Spider-Man Homecoming trailer, we saw, you know, we can see again the nerd factor, him and his best friend. They're sitting down watching the girl walk by and they're just talking to each other and they're all dorks. Yes, he's experiencing certain things. You know, th that is the Spider-Man. It's literally reminded me of the spider-man animated series on disney xd literally reminded me of that and i was like you know what this is spider-man from that day the very first time i saw civil war i was like this is a spider-man that we needed now we can go on and debate about that a lot of people say hey you know what no no no. i can't see tom holland as spider-man i cannot see him playing this character he's not that character to me toby Maguire is the best character spider-man ever you're that's fine I'm willing to hear your reasons out and that is okay. You know, it's not an issue with that. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. But to me, like I said, 100% in my opinion, I believe Tom Holland is the perfect choice. And for those reasons, why I said, you know, like I said, everything from the comedy factor to the sarcasm, to the awkwardness, to the look, the size, the shape, everything, the age, everything fits to that comic book character that I knew, that I grew up re reading and I fell in love with that character. Spider-Man, like I said, one of the best characters, one of my favorite characters, you know, right next to the Flash of all time. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. Like I said, 100% opinion based, man. I didn't write any notes down or anything for this video. I just wanted to speak from my heart and what I feel about Tom Holland being Spider-Man. I'm looking forward to watching that Spider-Man Homecoming trailer number two and see what's going on. And I will be doing a breakdown for that video as well. So like I said, subscribe if you're interested in seeing that. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what's going on. If you agree with me, if not, let me know in the comments just down below. Thank you for taking your time to watch this one. Clockmaster out.